Hello everyone, it's Rider here and welcome to another car booty video. Um, so, once a year, um, there's a thing near where I live called Pelsall Carnival. And as part of that, they have a car boot sale. And I haven't been able to make this before for whatever reason. But today, I had a wander down. And um, it's been a pretty good haul. What I will say about the, um, the place is it was quite... It was more expensive than the standard car boot I go to, even though there was a lot of the traders there who normally go to the one at Muckley Corner where I go to. Um, and there was also some toy traders, and these are the, the kind of toy traders that I really, really hate. They're the ones that just have boxes and boxes of filthy tat, but then try and charge you three, four pound each for them. I mean, there was one figure on there that Oliver spotted. It was... Um, it was an incredible Hulk figure, a big Hulk figure, and it had a 50p price on it, and it's like, oh no, I'm sorry, that's £3.50, and I rummaged through all these boxes, and they had some Bucky O'Hare figures, they had all of this stuff, but unfortunately, they were just too damaged, and they wanted two, three pound each for them, and it just wasn't worth it, because they're damaged, and they had no paint on, which was a bit of a shame, um, but the items I've got, I'm, I'm really happy with, with what I paid. Um, first of all though, let's have a look what Oliver got. So Oliver picked up a Nemo and a Hank for a couple of pound each. Also a little funky Nemo and a robotic shark. A Iron Man and Spider-Man minifigure. And a Rescue Bot's Boulder and Blades. Okay, so the first item I picked up was... This uh, Marvel Super Heroes Lego set. Um, I just thought it was cool. £3, um, a little bit more than what I normally pay for stuff from a car boot, but um, it was sealed, um, hasn't been opened, box is battered, but I really like this this Thanos with the with the glove vehicle, and I thought it would be cool to build, I might do a build video on it, I'm not going to sell it on, it's just going to be something that maybe sits on my desk, which I thought would be quite cool, so I picked up that. Uh, second item I picked up, believe it or not, was a knicker item. Uh, on one of the toy toy traders, uh, this one was actually too reasonably priced, um, and it was the same guy Oliver got his fish from. Uh, I picked up a Sin City Necker Marv, um, missing all accessories, um, but I quite like this section of Sin City. I think Sin City is a really cool film, and um, this was three quid. Uh, I didn't barter; probably should have done, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, I picked up. Marv here, um, really nice, nice detail, everything except, uh, ex expect sorry from NECA, however this must be an early NECA figure because it doesn't have the articulation of other figures, um, but nevertheless as a piece standing on your shelf, that will look really cool, so happy I got him. Then uh, what else did I pick up, I found a Marvel Legends Toy Biz, I think this is Mutant Racer Wolverine, He's got all of his claws, um, which was a must. I wouldn't have bought him if not. He's got a little bit of a loose waist and a few paint chips on his face, but it's a Marvel legend on a car boot sale. I couldn't really turn it down. Guy wanted two quid for it. I offered 150 and he said yeah. And it's not the best Wolverine, but you know what? He's alright. He's okay. I haven't got a Wolverine as such in my collection at the moment, apart from the sealed one, which I haven't shown you yet, actually. Um, but yeah. There you go. So I picked up him. Uh, then, I can't remember the order of these. Um, I'll just go for this one first. So on a store, I picked up a Spider-Man figure. It's not a Marvel Legend, but I thought it was just cool looking for a quid. So he's got a little bit of paint chip on his eye, but I'm going to sort that out. A little bit of white paint will do that. Looks very comic booky or cartoony, but... Quite like me Spider Man's, and I was looking at the newer version of Spider Man. I was looking at the Marvel Legends newer version from um, Far From Home, and close up, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it. I kind of like this aesthetic more. Uh, I like the blue, I think, rather than the black. But for a pound, I thought it was a cool one that'll sit on my desk. 
The next item I'm probably going to sell on, well I am going to sell on because I've already got it, but I picked up a pretty mint condition from Bowden Wars Chop Shop. I think I might be able to get 7 or 8 quid for him on eBay, paid a pound for him, so I'll hopefully flip him and get a bit of a profit and it can go towards some more Marvel Legends or something like that. But a pretty decent Chop Shop. Um, yeah, Chop Shop. He was off the same store as the Marvel um, Spider-Man. Okay, then I saw this box, and this box had loads of bits in, and Oliver spotted the fish and the little Iron Man figure on there, and the woman said, oh, it's 50p for everything in there, and there was two Transformers in there, Beast Wars figures. There was this guy, and he was in pieces. Uh, missing his arm, as you can see. I don't know this guy's name, to be honest. He has got his head inside there. And, yeah. If it was just him, I probably would have left it. But there was also a Transmetal Cheetor. This was in pieces in there. The arms were off, the towels were off. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't have its robot mode head. But I do quite like this Cheetor. I had it before and it was a floppy mess and didn't have the tail. This has actually got the tail weapon, which is, I'm surprised why the head wasn't in there. Um, but I'm probably going to keep this and have a look to try and complete a Cheetor. I know I'm not really into Beast Wars, but this figure is a pretty cool figure. And if I can get one for, what, a couple of quid, I can make this up to a complete one. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Uh, I also picked up these two pieces because I weren't sure that whether they went with those robots. And also a KO, like MicroMaster Train. I've actually got the original of this. But anyway, those essentially equated to a quid. So I couldn't really leave them. Um, and I'm happy I did pick them up now. Even our Cheetor's missing his robot mode head. The chrome's pretty good on him and... Yeah, but for a quid, well, actually, tell a lie, the, um, there was the Iron Man figure and that little robot fish, plus these come to two quid, so I'm splitting it that way, but it was about a quid for all these, but pretty cool anyway, that I found those. And uh, on the way out, I saw this on the way in, and it was from the same store as I found the Lego a Marvel, and um, it's a Batman Robin figure animated um, and I offered the guy two quid and he took it. Um, this is something I'm probably going to sell on. Uh, I've got no real interest in DC. I said that about Marvel three months ago. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I've got no real intention of, of keeping this. I know Rudy has got some of these figures. Uh, and he says they're really cool. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to make a little bit of a profit on that. Um, with that and Chop Shop maybe. I don't know. Um hopefully looking online some have gone for like 20 quid some have gone for five quid so if i get somewhere in the middle for that i'll be a happy bunny but yeah i'm happy i found that um and that is my haul uh, so while i'm on i might as well talk you through some of the other stuff i picked up this week um i i picked up a tyco mint on sale card but it's not mint because the bubbles got a bit squashed x-men Wolverine figure. The reason why I bought this was I thought it'd be quite a nice backing piece, like um, as I've got some of the Terminator and Alien stuff. I thought this would be just nice for display purposes. I've got no intention of opening them up. It was only seven pound, posted as well, um, and that's probably why the bubble got so crushed is because the guy didn't wrap it very well. But that, that's unfortunate. Um, and then also I picked up this guy. This only cost me. Um, six pounds sixty plus postage it's a new wave um it's a caliban wave x-men school buster um i really like the look of this figure don't know much about the character uh, i really like the, that head sculpt and the the meta uh, metallic metal and robotic legs i think it looks really cool um i'm happy to have him and he was a, a steal yes the builder figure piece was missing but i've got no, no desire to build caliban anyway because i don't know who he is um, and then yesterday I went to Burton upon Trent and I went to Toymaster and I'll show you some pictures now of what I saw.
Toy Master in Burton on Trent is one of my favourite places to go. Um, it's got such a varied amount of toys. It has a lot of Transformers in there as well. Um, here are the Marvel Legends they had on display yesterday. They had the new Spider-Man Far From Home range. Nearly had that Hydra man. Nearly picked him up. Uh, also had some of the latest uh, X-Men wave. You can see Beast there. And that Hercules figure is nice. This is the binary Captain Marvel I was looking at while I was there. And they also had some reduced figures. So this was uh, a Doctor Strange way, way figure, which I don't remember. Another Captain Marvel that I was looking at. And they also had Weapon X. I really want this figure. Uh, I think it's really nice. Um, they also had Beast. And I really wanted this figure, but I'm not sold on that head sculpt. I, I'm not feeling it. And I had loads. I was sorting through all these. Some were in the sale, some were. I, I was taking some one minute and not the next. But the first one I decided I was definitely going to get. And the reason for this is I saw the price of this figure go up online. I haven't seen it um, anywhere in the wild. Apart from once at the Disney store. Um, Ebony Moore picked him up. I haven't got many bad guys. Decided to take pull the trigger on him. He was the first one I decided absolutely I was going to get. Uh, the next one was a toss up of a Captain Marvel figure. A Captain Marvel figure. I only really want one Captain Marvel in my collection. I still haven't saw the film, but I didn't rate her that much in Endgame. No controversy, no. Um, but, yeah, I, I just wanted one representation of her. I'm not going to go out and buy all of them. And I was tossing between the one with the jacket on, with the cat, the one with um, just a normal Captain Marvel. I ended up um, deciding to pick up the binary version. Simply because I absolutely love all these effect parts. Um, some of my favourite Marvel Legends are the ones that come with effect parts. So I picked up Captain Marvel. Um, so I'm happy to have her in the collection. Uh, obviously I've actually opened her. Uh, and the final one I picked up was actually on sale. It was reduced by five quid. I picked up this version of Deadpool. Um, which is really, really cool. I really like this figure. Probably my favourite non um mcu marvel legends figure i've got uh and he does come with an alternate head hang on yeah so it comes with this alternate head which makes basically changes the character this is no longer deadpool this is now madcap um which is a, a lesser known uh, marvel character that deadpool had some interactions with um which i didn't know about until i googled <laughs> so there you go so i picked up this guy which is really Really nice. Really like this figure. Really, really do. Probably one of my favourite pictures of the week. I also so, found Egon in B&M for £8. Now, if this was full retail price, I'd be slating this thing. For eight quid, I've still got some issues with it. Um, it's So I've still got some issues with it. This effects part was actually broken in the box, so it didn't attach. And when I was trying to repair it, it broke in the middle, so I've had to do some repairs on it. It's okay now, but I don't want to touch it too much. Um, the hands look a little bit small uh, that come with it. Um, but yeah, it, it's an okay display piece. I like Egon. I'm not going to touch it that much. As long as you don't touch it, I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I picked up Egon. Bit of an impulse purchase. That's it. I think we're all up to date. That's everything I've picked up this week, and that's also what I've done at the car boot today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything you want to see more of, let me know. Um, so yeah, I've been Zork Rider. Catch you again soon.